good morning, folks. Good morning. It's good to see good you all this morning. And uh, I'm Nancy Kaysen. I'm your host today. And uh, I have a little gift shop called The Red Ribbon. So if you're wanting to do any Christmas shopping, be sure you come by. I'm on Central Avenue. Co-hosting today. Back at the little house. Is, uh, back at the little house. And co-hosting today is Brene Beatty. Retired. With a broken leg. Yes. Yes, again. That again. happened Tuesday. Uh-huh. I have a paper cut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I just can't has really. a broken leg. Okay, yes. and the trooper that she is, she's trooped in here this morning, and here she is. And and uh, her shoes don't match because one <laughs> shoe is a boot, and the other one is just a shoe shoe. So anyway, but it has a really thick sole, so that I won't end up with back trouble. <laughs> right after I get out of the cast. See, I'm I'm experienced. She's, with yes, this. she's done this before. Several times. And then on the other side yes. of Brene, with no broken bones or paper cuts, Pete <laughs> Vanderpool. And it's so good to have you with us today. Well, good morning. It's I good to be with say, you, too. author Pete yeah. Vanderpool. Well, and yes. I really like that vest. That is, that's good. My looking. wife dresses me. Ah, well, well, she, she does, does a good, good job. job. Yes, she does. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, she does. Now, we are here today to talk about this wonderful book that Pete has written. It's Equipped to Bless, Finding Relevance in the Stories of Your Life. And I know that your wife Joyce said for me to read the forward, but I just wanted to read this little part right here. To the many people who have openly shared their stories, encouragements, and prayers, blessing me and thereby equipping me to bless others. I just think that's wonderful. Well, it's kind of interesting how that came to be. Um, I was at the Southeast Christian Writers Conference two years ago now, and they asked me to do a breakout session. So I, at that time, got acquainted with Wendy Brown, and Wendy had just written Evie West's book. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. So we got to talking. I wanted to know how she had done that, because the story goes that Evie wrote and wrote and wrote about four pages on legal pad and says, this ain't going to make a book. <laughs> So I asked Wendy, how did you accomplish the task? And she said, hours and hours of conversation. And then I told her what the Santa Project does. Of course, the Santa Project is all about safety of little kids from kindergarten through third grade. That's how it started anyway. But uh, she was interested in that. She says, you need to write a book. <laughs> I said, no, no, no. <laughs> Trust me, no, no, Four no. Four pages, no. this ain't gonna make a book. <laughs> this ain't gonna make a book. <laughs> so, um, we met at Panera's and we talked and she said, well, if you'll do this, I'll do that. And um, it took us the better part of a year to come up with that. It was originally called The Story Gatherer. Well, that's kind of unique too, yeah. The Story Gatherer. But as time has gone along, The Story Gatherer is a program that has within it equipped to bless. And it's oh, okay. all under the umbrella of the Santa Project. Confusing, I know. Right. Well, okay. Now, let's stop right here a minute and explain to everyone the Santa Project. Yes. The Santa Project is a result of many years in the green chair, talking with kids and realizing that they, at the holidays, could really get into trouble. So I would talk to them primarily before they would come to me to talk and tell them what they needed to do. Basically, they need to stay with the adult that they're with. They need to be within sight and sound of the adult. And if somebody comes along that they don't know and tries to get them to do something that they really don't want to do, then they become the richest thing in that store. I don't care what store it is, they are worth a million dollars and everything else is worth 10. Mm -hmm. But those are the kinds of things that I tell them and how to behave, how to react. I, I do have one little funny story, though. Well, go ahead and share it with us. Well, one of the things that I teach these kids is if it's a woman that's taking you away, you say, this is not my mommy. Screaming and hollering adults won't pay any attention. Well, it had happened that one little girl was being taken out for an attitude adjustment, and uh, so she <laughs> tried it. <laughs> Security got to her. They called the police, and 45 minutes later, the little girl finally admitted, yes, this is my mommy. <laughs> Mother said she'd rather have it that way. Than, Absolutely. <laughs> but still, I I got to be careful what I teach. Yeah. Well, that is true. But Unless you know, it is your mommy, and then you go with them. <laughs> that was, you know, pretty good thinking on that little girl's yeah. part. She's going to grow to pull up that one. She probably will. <laughs> yes. But the thing that came out of that was, if you have little children, you you know how if grandma has pictures and mom has pictures, but you probably don't have a picture of you in with the child. 
That is true. And if you'll take a picture, if she'd had a picture like that, she could have shown them and that would have been the end of it. <laughs> and I said, get it updated about every six months because they do grow up. They do. They do. Quickly. Quickly. Because I taught school for 18 years. You know. And, and when one of my first graders, the first year I taught, comes up to me now and says, I bet you don't remember me. No, I don't remember <laughs> them. I mean... That was 30 years ago. No, they've changed. Yes. They have. You may so, remember them then. Yes. But you don't know who they yes, are now. But yeah. I have no idea who they are now. So let's talk about the book. Yes. And it's equipped to bless. Finding relevance in the stories of your life. Now, first of all, I'm going to digress. And you will find we digress here a lot. That's a okay. lot. You are a storyteller. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And, and he's part of the Cleveland Storytellers Guild, which we've had Judy mm -hmm. Baker on here numerous times. Okay. So, so you're used to verbalizing stories. Yes. And many of the stories that you find in there have been given to me over time. The first one in the book is a local man, Jim Giles. Um, it's a very interesting story. I don't think I need to tell you what it is because you need to buy the book. That's exactly right. They do That's need right. to buy the book. Right. And it will be at your store, too. It will be. Yes. Fourteen ninety-five for the book. And it will be at the Red Ribbon, but it's also, now let's plug, it's also, where else is it? Uh, it's at Sarah's Hallmark. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's at White Wing Bookstore. Right. And you've already had book signings there, so we're going to try to get a book signing worked in at the Red Ribbon because this would be a wonderful stocking stuffer. Uh -huh. yeah. But here we digress again, Pete, so let's go back and talk about the book. Well, the, the, uh, the idea of, that, that started this whole thing is that we are all unique because of the stories of our life. Um, even if you're twins, you're not always together and there is a difference in your stories. But those stories equip you to bless. You'll go through a firestorm and you'll say, there's no blessing in this. I just absolutely, you know, this is terrible. Why are you doing this to me? But when you get all through it, when the resolution comes, then you'll find sometime down the road, maybe a, week, a year or two or something, somebody else is going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And you can't fix it, but you can go to them and you put your arm around them and say, I'm here if you need me. Mm -hmm. And there you are blessing somebody else. So that's how the, the, the finding the relevance, um, mm -hmm. that adds another dimension to it, where if you chase a theme through your stories, sometimes the answer is there. Um, for instance, somebody's getting to retire. Well, I don't know what I want to do when I retire. But you stop and think, gee, you know, I used to go to these craft shows and I always ended up talking with the flute maker. Well, gee, that's of interest to me. Maybe I should think about that for my retirement. Mm -hmm. Or woodworking or something. So by looking at these different events in your life following a particular thread, it may help you find something for your future. Well, I hadn't thought about that. Of course, I'm not looking to retire. My husband has retired, and I think that's, the, that's, that's sufficiently. <laughs> we are sufficiently taken care of. But I hadn't even thought about that, Pete, because if you look back at what some of your interests are, then, dogs. then that might... Dogs. See, Brene has retired, and now she has... Dogs. She transports dogs, and she has dogs, and she Rich, fosters she dogs, dogs, and, and uh, rescue dogs. And she rescues and dogs, and so that's what she's doing in retirement. Yep. So that's the, that's the kind of thing that, that these stories can help you. Um, there also can be a healing. Um, mm, I, 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 I had somebody tell me that they read the book. They said, I can only read it three pages at a time. And I said, why? And she said, because I have to stop and think. Oh, and then what a she, nice compliment, Pete. Yes, yeah. but then she said, I am now, because of this book, working on something that happened to me about 30 years ago that I never came to grips with. So there's a healing process yeah. in this also. Isn't that something? It's not a large book. No. Um, you know, I it's have... 125 pages. 125 pages. Pithy, though. Pithy. It, it is. Okay. But I, I just... Um, uh, anytime I read a book like that, uh, the first thing I ask if someone's already read it or if I'm talking to the author, do I need a box of Kleenex beside my chair while I'm reading it? Because I, I do, you know, I cry at Lassie's theme song. 
Okay. There's probably people watching this show that don't even know what Lassie's theme song is. But, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, so, you know, I always want to know, is it a tearjerker or, or it, not? It is not intended to be. In fact, I just at the book signing, I said to Wendy, did you ever think that what we've put together here would uh, come out this way? And she says, never in a million years. So what? So the outcome here is you didn't necessarily sit down to do this. No, that's true. It, we have been led by the Holy Spirit. And, and that I, is wonderful, isn't it? it and it, every once in a while, it'd be this little mid-course correction, the change of the name from the story gatherer to equip to bless. These things just have unfolded as time has gone along. And the book, it's not intended to make you cry, um, but reading the stories, you realize what where the stories come from, um, how they affect you, and how you are equipped to bless somebody else. Right, and, and it's like you said about the lady that's now dealing with something that happened to her 30 years ago. It, you know, there may be things that you read and you say, well, that's me. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that, totally. I was just flipping through it, and what I think is really neat, at the end of each chapter, and the chapters aren't long, but there's a, a little session, a section that says, think about it. Who is someone you can call if your stories create emotional overload? Uh, what have you been taught about forgiveness? How is counseling? Have you, just some questions okay. that help you process what you've just read. That's really neat. Because sometimes you just read stuff and then you go on. And you lay it down. That's normally yeah. what I read, something I can just read and lay down. But yeah. I'm really fascinated with this and I can't wait mm -hmm. to, to read it. Pete, thank you so much for being on today. Sarah's Hallmark, White Wind Bookstore, and the Red Ribbon Red have this Ribbon, book. Yeah. Yes. Fourteen ninety five, great stocking stuffer. Equipped to bless. Equipped to bless. Uh, finding relevance in the stories of your life, and the proceeds from this go to the Santa Project, which is a safety net for children. Absolutely. Which is wonderful. So, Pete, thank you so much, folks. Well, don't go away. We're going to be right back on because we're going to talk about the King of Rock and Roll. So, stay with us. We'll be right back. Great local sports, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind the scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame Thursdays at 10. And it's a Friday night tradition. Football Friday, every Friday night at 11 o'clock, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite, with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here.
doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. And we are back, and I told you we we're going to talk about the king of rock and roll. Yeah. We don't have the king with us, but we have Tracy <laughs> McCartney, who is the new, maybe not so new. How long have you been? Since August 27th. Oh, uh, that's still pretty new. Uh, that's still President pretty new. President of uh, Junior Achievement of the Okoy region, region, and that's five counties. So Tracy big job. is, and, and she, was on, she was on with us once before, but she had this big black witch's hat on, and so today I said, no hats so people can see you and will recognize you when you go out and talk about Junior Achievement. So let's talk about Junior Achievement. Junior Achievement's going well. I'm loving my new position. Of course, Nancy is a great board member for me and I love her to pieces. Go to the Red Ribbon and shop there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I did not pay for that, okay? I did not. <laughs> or twist her arm. I did not. No. Okay. Yeah, tonight, um, tonight, Thursday night, we have our Elvis concert coming here. Travis Ledoy has been here for five years and three years with J.A. Mm -hmm. And he is going to be here singing all of his great tunes for J.A. So come buy a ticket. Get general admissions twenty dollars, and we'd love to see you at the Dixon Center. And and it is a wonderful show, folks. It really, you really have is. Have seen him every time. Go to watch the people in the crowd. That's it what is, I did last time. It is like Elvis reincarnated. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. hysterical, actually. It is. <laughs> it is. But he is so good. He is. He is Elvis. He is Elvis reincarnated and, practically. And the first time. I, we had him in Cleveland, was at uh, Johnston Park mm -hmm. for Evening Shade, and the women kept taking oh, pictures, yeah. and my husband kept saying, you know, I think they think that's him. They, I they know. really think. And, and he go, he would go up into the audience, oh, yeah. into the crowd, and, and watch the crowd, and they would just hold on yeah. to him and, and watch the crowd, take and, picture with him. and, and see, we're doing this because Tracy hasn't seen him yet. This yeah, will be her I've first experience. This is, yeah. this is my first experience, mm -hmm. but and I've it heard will be an experience. I cannot yes. wait. I'm going to be up there with my camera, taking yeah. pictures of all these crazy ladies. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. And the thing about it is, he is such a genuine, wonderful young man. Yes. And he's will come out. I guess he's done this in the past. Come out after the show. Let you take pictures with him and talk to him and everything. And you can purchase the merchandise too that he has. Right. I think he's yeah. going to have T-shirts and he might do some autographs. And oh, uh, wow, he has a traveling fan base too, doesn't he? He most certainly does. We've had people from Seattle call for his tickets. People from Washington D.C. and people from Florida all coming to the Dixon Center tonight to see him perform. So they follow him around to it's every single Seattle. show. Seattle. That is a hoot. <laughs> That's what I thought Seattle, too. Washington. I said, where are you from? <laughs> right. Seattle. Oh, okay. Do you oh. know where Cleveland, Tennessee is? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and he's, oh, wow. he comes here this time of year for us because he performs on a cruise ship. I don't know which one. I don't know what cruise line or anything. But we're kind of a stopover here for mm -hmm. him to go on down to uh, his cruise ship. Cape Kennedy yeah. and get on his cruise ship and, and cruise. Now, I have sold all my tickets, so if Thank Sherry you. wants to run some by this morning for me before I open at 10, I mean, I'll be glad to try to sell some more. If, I'll do that. I'll do that for you. Okay, that's good. I would good. love to. Thank you. But, but I had all my tickets, and I sold, and it's people that normally have bought tickets. Yeah. And uh, there's one gentleman that buys every time that I'm sure he'll be there. And uh, it's just wonderful. It starts at... Seven, doors open at 6 because we did RSVP seating this year so anyone who purchased a ticket that was RSVP for $35 you're going to get your name on the back of your seat so you can come in a little bit earlier so it's easier for you to get your seat. Now huh. it's not at the Con Center. No it's at the Dixon Center so and right I, next door. Right but I've already had uh, one, one lady that bought tickets from me said oh it's at the Dixon Center and I said yes ma'am and she said but I'd already told Susie where to save our seats at the con center and she said I don't know anything about the Dixon Center so it is a little bit a little bit different layout and then we're going to have signs over at the con center and signs hopefully labeled everywhere out front so everyone knows where we are because I think there's another event going on that day at, yeah. the, at the con center. Elvis is here. Elvis <laughs> is here there's going to be a big bright orange neon sign. <laughs> I love um, it. Here. I love it and folks honest to goodness 
this is a performance well worth the $20. Yes. I would say the $35 tickets are sold out, aren't they? <coughs> Actually, no. no. I still have some sixth, sixth row. So we've sold all the way out to the fifth row. Sixth row middle is still open. Okay. So those are $35. Yes. And I won't have those at the Red Ribbon. You need to call uh, Tracy at Junior Achievement to get those. But um, let's tell them what the money goes for. The money goes toward our five counties that we cover. That's Meigs County, Monroe, <coughs> excuse me, Bradley County, Polk County, and McMinn. Mm -hmm. So the money goes and stays in those five counties wherever we raise the money. It goes toward inspiring and educating young people to succeed. Absolutely. And it <coughs> frames me. you to uh, one thing, balance checkbook. Yes. And also how to interview for a job and some different <coughs> things like that. Excuse me. Bless you, dear. Yeah. Bless you. I don't even have any water no. to hand you. I'm so sorry. I have some over there, but that's okay. <coughs> okay. <coughs> and um, now, Tracy is new, and she stepped into Monster Ball, Elvis, and then coming up right behind Elvis is... Santa Breakfast. Breakfast with Santa. Yes. And that will be at the De mall. December 1st at the mall at 8.30. And, we, and I have tickets for that, too. Mm -hmm. And the tickets for that are $5. $5. Mm -hmm. You get a hot breakfast donated by Cooks. They're going to bring There's sausage. And, oh, thank you so much. Um, a hot breakfast that will be from uh, Cooks that they got donated. It's biscuits and sausage. And there's going to be hot cocoa and coffee. And it's just going to be a great opportunity for our board members and for us to reach out to the community and just say hello and, of course, visit Santa. And it's such a fun event. And, uh, and then we have a group that's going to sing. Mm hmm And that would be the same as last year, Ross School's coming. Oh, okay. And they and they entertain mm -hmm. those that are sitting around. All the great Christmas carols. Oh, good. Okay. And um, this is not I mean, we don't really usually make a lot of money on this one. No. This is something that we do to give back to the community. We usually we don't make a whole lot of money, but it's something, like I mentioned before, for us to get out there and meet the people that we serve. Essentially, these children, we're going to be teaching them how to balance their checkbooks, how to be ready for a job, work readiness, business ethics, so that by the time, you know, even if they are in elementary school, we're going to come in there and teach them some things. But by the time we reach them in middle school and high school, maybe they'll recognize our faces when we come mm -hmm. in to actually teach the courses and when we actually meet them. So it's a great stepping stone for us to get out in the community, build awareness, and bring some more traffic to the mall. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, can we go ahead and talk about Cash for Kids or can we talk about that yet? We can, we can talk about okay, it. Okay, let's talk about <clears throat> Cash for Kids for just a minute. Okay. Cash for Kids is a partnership that Junior Achievement of the Ocoee Region is doing with Junior Achievement of the Chattanooga Office. And what we're doing is we've secured Kangaroo, who's owned by Chris Hughes. Thank you so much, Chris. Absolutely, Chris. He has actually decided that all 75 of his stores, his Kangaroo gas convenience, convenience stores, are actually going to sell um, <clears throat> on behalf or take up donations for Junior Achievement. Oh, wow. So in the five territory, in the five counties that we have, there's 29 different locations. So please stop in to any kangaroo convenience store that you see. They're going to ask you to donate to Junior Achievement. Please do that. So instead of using the pay at the pump, please just go in and wait for them to say hi or would you like to donate to Junior Achievement. And, and oh, cool. see how wonderful. And it's not a, you don't have to do a major donation. Just mm -hmm. reach in your pocket and get the change that's weighting you down yeah. and put it in the little bucket there. And it goes directly back to your own children if they're in any of our five counties of right. schools. That money and turns right back so around. local investment. Absolutely. How many yes. stores did you say were in our area? 29. 29. And if each store would do $10, $15 a day on you people emptying your pockets. We asked wow. them to do, to set a goal of about $500. So that would be an additional $14,500 for Junior Achievement, which could be huge for our kids locally. We would yeah. not have to worry for the entire rest of the winter to fundraise in order to get our programs in their school. So it would be huge for us and huge for the kids in order to be able to do that. So yeah. thank you to Kangaroo and anyone who donates. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And and the thing about it is, folks, our <coughs> volunteers teach the classes. Yes. And some of these have been volunteering with us for years and they're wonderful. And we do need volunteers. But the, what cost is the material that we have to have to take mm -hmm. into the classroom because these uh, these classes that we teach are certified, verified, and everything's 
a okay yeah. with them. And then it also is on the TCAP mm -hmm. and covers a lot of the things that the students are tested on at the end of the year mm -hmm. that maybe aren't covered in the classroom. So, well, what's great about JA for me is I'm actually a product of junior achievement. How wonderful. So, when I was in middle school, someone came in to do a reality check program in my school. And here I am, however many years later, <laughs> the president of Junior Achievement of the Ocoee region, and I learned how to balance a checkbook from Junior Achievement. So I feel like the work that has already been done through board members like you, through volunteers who come in and teach these classes, people who are coming up in the professional world now know who Junior Achievement is, and that's due to you. And it's a mm -hmm. huge thank you to you. I'm a product of that, and I can't thank those people enough and furthermore I want to pass that on to future generations and that's mm -hmm. so wonderful and see your enthusiasm is just yes. electric and we it just is. all of us on the board just love this enthusiasm but I want to go right back because we just have about two minutes Tracy and let's talk about what's happening tonight at the Dixon Center Travis 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 Elvis 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 <laughs> the king <laughs> is coming to Cleveland he is coming to Cleveland seven o'clock make sure you have your tickets I will be there selling them at the door I'm gonna pop my collar and I'll be ready for you absolutely <laughs> and it's wonderful and our now cash check or credit card I'll take them all okay very good now do we take American Express too or I will okay <laughs> so all the credit cards are covered okay see love this enthusiasm stop at a kangaroo before you come that's yeah. right so I'll get you a cup of coffee at a kangaroo empty your pockets and then come on yes. but it's at the Dixon Center it starts at seven so the reserve seating will be will start at six o'clock and then what yes. time will you open the door for general admission i'll probably do it at 6 30. okay 6 30. so and if there's anything else that's going on at lee at this time try to get there a few minutes early even if you just sit in your car because parking gets a little tight yes. and and if there's something going on at the con center and something going on at the dixon center and soccer game and a basketball game and anything else then parking does get tight mm -hmm. so so Christmas with the king of rock and roll and this is just it's going to be a great event. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see it. I can't wait to see everyone down there shimmying and shaking and reaching for him and it's hysterical girl. I'm going to tell you right I now. Can't it's wait. Hysterical. I it can't is wait. hysterical. And I mean he really 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 does sound like the young Elvis. And look like on the he stage. Looks like and he looks, looks like, like him. Yes. yes. Looks he like does. Him. So tonight, show. 7 o'clock, the Dixon Center. Be there or be square. Tickets are $20. And Tracy will be at the door at the Dixon Center to greet you and take your money and help you find a seat. So, yes. Absolutely. You're Tracy, busy. thank you so much. Thank you. Folks, don't go away because we have a really big surprise for you coming yes. up. So, do not go away. We'll be right back. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold. And a handshake is firm. And your word is gold. Donald for Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here doesn't matter buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least two thousand bucks Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens a two thousand dollar drive worth making I'll take that drive every time hello I'm Bill Odom hi and I'm Tammy Odom we want to invite you to join us on joyous living today for interviews testimonies and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite, with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive-thru. Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland 
is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. And we are back, and I told yes. you we were going to have a very special guest. And look who's here! Good Santa morning! Oh, Santa. Oh, oh. We are so thrilled because yes. you see, tomorrow Santa arrives at the mall. That's but he right. came here first. He came here first. Yeah, well, so I, I kind of, I have to check my list, you know. And, and we I have good. to, you know, anybody that's got a shoe oh, on yeah, like that, there's got to be a story there. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, there, there is. is. And, and that story has to do with animals. So, Santa, <laughs> you're going to be at the mall starting Friday. Friday night at 6 o'clock. Okay. Now, are, how are you coming in? That was going to be my Oh, question. I'm coming in in a beautiful parachute? white carriage. No, oh. no, no. It's, oh. I don't do parachutes. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> you know. No. It, it's a beautiful white carriage. It's pulled by a black preacher on. Oh, um, wow. Oh, it's a beautiful, Flash is his name. Flash. Well, flash. we hope he doesn't flash you right no, no, on through the no, mall. No, no, no. He's very gentle, okay, and he'll good. take me around, and I'll arrive in the, I think it's entrance number four, and there'll be a big crowd. There'll be dancers. There'll be singers. Wow. And probably, well, Rudolph sometimes shows up, and oh, Frosty wow. sometimes shows oh, wow. up. Yeah, it's a big deal. Big to do. And so yeah, that's... And, and Mrs. Claus is also and, there. Yes, and that, she hands out candy. That's important. Oh, she's now, she's very unpopular. That, that, yeah, so <laughs> she's handed out the candy. That's six o'clock. Is that what six you said? Six o'clock at the Bradley, Bradley Square. Square Mall, which is up on the entrance north end four. and at entrance four, we think. But that. you know, you just go in the mall, and I'm quite yeah, sure I'm, just I'm sure they'll the crowd. Yeah. Now you're going to be there every day. Except Thanksgiving. Now I get Thanksgiving oh, day oh, off. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, yes. Got to fill up the tummy, you know. Well, yes, you get ready to get ready. Hard work. Yeah. All right, hard so work you will not be there Thanksgiving Day, but you're going to be there every day uh, yeah. until Christmas Eve. That's correct. Yes. When you have, then you. That's when your work starts. Yeah. Well, yeah. yes, it does. As yeah. a matter of fact. Yeah. All right. So, what are your hours going to be those days? You're going to be there. Basically, during the weekday, it's eleven to eight. Oh. And on you're a hard Sunday, worker. it's from. 12 to 6 on Sundays. Okay, so you're going to be Except the last week and it kind of... Stretches out. Yeah. Because you have all these children that want to yes, see Santa. Yes, that's right. And I, you can't say no just because... No. <laughs> Every child that comes up is the most important thing in the world. So it's almost like a sales job. I have to be ready for that child. And, and of course, the rapport is just wonderful. Otherwise, you could not do this if you didn't love kids. Oh, I would that's say true. that you're exactly yes. right. And you must have a memory that is wonderful to remember what everybody tells you. What's a memory? <laughs> <laughs> or you he, take really good notes or something, Santa. He has elves in the background. That, that is are true. Taking and notes. you yes. have Mrs. Claus helping yes. you out, too. Yeah. Now, Tracy was just on with us, and she was talking about the Santa breakfast. Yes. So you will be there for that. December the 1st, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, we've done it for many years. It's, it's a wonderful occasion. The People can take their own pictures there, as many as they want. Oh, how Santa nice. will hold them and gather around, and we just have a lot of fun. That's great. That yeah. is great. And then you mentioned before we went on the air about pets. Now, is there a certain time for pet photographs? Yes. Or? Okay. Let's be sure all you pet lovers out there get this. It's the Monday nights, the first three Monday nights that I'm there. I arrive on the 16th, the Monday right after that, I will be there doing pets. It's at 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock, and you have to come in that same door by the Mexican restaurant. Okay. And uh, I only do animals. I do not do snakes and things like I got fooled once. Yeah, this lady came in, and she unwrapped the package, put it in my lap. They snapped the picture. She grabbed it and ran. I said, what was that? That was a chicken. 
was her pet. That was her pet, yeah. Not her pet. a hoot. That is too funny. Okay, so you'll do three Monday nights in a row. Yes, I will. Okay, and it's from six to eight. Right. Now, one pet, two pets, how do you, how do you work, Santa? Oh, uh, I have, um, I have to stop and think. There's a lady in town that breeds bull terriers. Okay. And um, the grandfather has been a Westminster champ. Ooh. And the puppy is going or has gone to Westminster and will come home a Westminster champ. Undoubtedly, uh, they have seven of them. Wow. All at once, I have seven of those dogs in front of me and I'm pulling like crazy. Uh -huh. I'm smiling, but I'm <laughs> <you are laughs> really holding on. And I've told her if she doesn't show up, I'm going to be disappointed. Yeah. And at least those aren't huge dogs, but they are very oh, strong dogs. They're, 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 they're yeah. good-sized dogs. But, yeah, they, but, and they're strong dogs, too. Yes, very strong dogs, But yes. it's not like somebody's going to drop a St. Bernard in your lap or a, something like that. No. And do they do that? I mean, you have no size qualifications, no. No, whatever no. your pet is. From little Chihuahuas to Great Danes, mm -hmm. St. Bernards, and anything like that. I, I even had a pot-bellied pig once. It's got uh, fur on it. It's okay. Yeah. All right. But okay. no snakes. I, I understand. No, no, no. Well, now, I have a picture of you with a Great Dane that was made several years ago. A friend of mine's Great Dane is like his child. And so for Christmas, he gave all of us pictures of his Great Dane and you on photograph day. So, so I, I have that kind of sitting up at the office uh, because that's kind of special. <laughs> And then I, um, I have one of my grand dog and you. My grand dog was a Weimaranger, and I have a picture wow. of Caesar and you. And, you know, those are kind of special little photographs. Well, they are, yes. Yeah. And they make nice Christmas cards if anybody wants to remember that. Well, yeah. the, the, uh, those six dogs I was talking about before, seven now, um, those are Christmas cards that they send out, and they always send me one, too. <laughs> I think that's wonderful. Oh, so. Right. Now, but we've digressed to dogs, which we, we do, because Brene's already trying to figure out when, when she I can, can get she has, mine. Th she has two. Three. Three, if she takes the foster. No, I no, have three of her own She now has Anna three foster. of her own and a foster. Okay, yeah. so she's trying to figure out how to get them there, Santa. Well, so well, Three Mondays. So, and that's right. And, so, and, and also cats, folks, also yes. cats. But In a carrier and on a leash. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then Isn't let's talk about okay. the little two-legged creatures that yes. come to see you. Well, uh, those are the ones that are special. Absolutely. Um, I, I just, I thrive with them. I have some interesting stories, some fun stories, and some that'll make you cry and some that'll make you laugh. Um, I've been doing, this will be my 21st year. Oh, wow. I started in Wisconsin, and the Santa Project itself started up there. There was a lady came up to me right at the end of my shift. And she says, Santa Claus, you know you're against everything we teach the kids. Don't talk to strangers. Don't go to strangers. Don't take things from strangers. Oh, my goodness. You put on the red suit, and we're supposed to march them right up and tell them to forget everything we've taught them. And I said, you know, ma'am, you're right, but I don't know what one Santa can do. But that got me to thinking about children and safety. And if, if I could be some sort of a mentor to them, and over the years, the program has developed. Uh, Melissa Word was teaching down at Blythe Bauer when I first came here, and she invited me into the kindergarten down there. And that was the beginning of the formal part of what we do as the Santa Project. How neat. And, and that person was exactly right. Yeah. Yes, true. Because true. we just send them running up to, to this stranger in this red suit yep. and and say that's and okay sometimes they're like i don't want to go and you're like sure oh, go yes. on of course yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. i don't want to be there and, yeah. if, and i'm sure you've had some that have cried the whole time they're sitting in your lap oh, or, yes. and that's not pleasant for anyone but that's the way it is that year and and many parents realize it and they do it quickly it's not torture you know mm -hmm. and, and i won't let them torture the kid but when they're two years old, plus or minus six months, there's something about the red suit. We've never figured it out. As a matter of fact, the Stone Mountain Santa Claus had quad, quads? Four. Four, that's four, yes, yes. quads. Uh -huh. and one of them came running up. One stood back, and the other two screamed bloody murder when they were two years old. 
So why did the one come running up yeah. and the other two are scared to death? It's an individual thing. Yes, it's the personalities of the children. Yep. And, and that's what you see every time you put a different child on your lap and talk to your, that child about what they want for Christmas or whether they've been good or bad or, um, you know, it, and I'm sure that those personalities just beam right out. Oh, I had one. This little kid was, um, I can't diagnose, but he was just active, very active. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. wanted down and then he, we'd put him back and he'd be down. So finally he kind of leaned over and when he did, his legs came up. So I grabbed him by the legs. <laughs> I'm holding him like this upside down. They took the picture and that's the one they took. Oh my goodness. Well, that was probably so typical of that child. Yeah. Well, yeah. That yeah. the parents Just thought, an active this, child. And, yeah. you know, so uh, we take advantage of what we can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm getting the message that we're getting up close to a commercial break, but Santa will appear at the mall tomorrow. That's Friday, tomorrow mm -hmm. at 6, six? o'clock. Right. And he'll be there from 6 until 8. And or 9, whatever, or whatever however that he's, long he's, line he, he, will, he will stretch it. And there's going to be singing and dancing and Rudolph oh, and yeah. snowmen and all kinds of things. So, folks, go out and support our Bradley Square Mall. And yeah. also go see Santa because Santa's a really nice fella. And we are thrilled that Santa came on with us today. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh so, I am so glad to be we here We are so with glad you. you came, Santa, because I figure you're going to stay at the Holiday Inn Express tonight and then Well, no, I'm go. not going to tell you where I'm going to oh, stay. Oh, that's right. Oh, that won't work because yeah. everybody will be looking for Santa. So, yeah. Yeah. right. Okay. Big so, secret, big secret. Right. And then after Friday, he will be at the mall every day until Christmas Eve except Thanksgiving. So, Santa, thank you so yeah. much. Oh, thank you thank for, you for letting me us. come in. And we just can't say enough about, you know, you be safe and you take care of yourself because there's a yes. lot of children around the world that are depending on you. Yes. And, yeah. and thank you so much, Santa, for being here. You're yeah. welcome. Thank Folks, you. Folks, thank you all. <laughs> uh, don't go away now. We'll be right back because we want to tell you some community events. So, yes, we'll be right back. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David, and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast. Phone 790-7100. And 
And we are back yes, chit-chatting and yes. trying to act nice because Santa was here. Yes. And boy, that was so exciting to have it Santa was. here. And to be and first. Yes, we were first. first. Yes. And and see, there's a nice ad in the banner, and folks, we can't thank the banner enough. We just absolutely cannot thank the banner enough for having all these wonderful things that Brene and I cut out of the banner and bring to you yes. for for your community enjoyment. But Santa arrives Friday night at six, and uh, he's going to come via horse-drawn carriage. You saw that. And there's going to be free carriage rides after Santa's arrival until 8 p.m. And then he will be there until December the 24th, which is Christmas Eve. So yes. be sure that you go out to the Bradley Square Mall and visit Santa. Okay. And did you know that today is America Recycles Day? No, I'll have yes. to go recycle something. It was in the banner. There Yesterday's paper, yes. Uh, and to celebrate and encourage local recycling efforts. And you know... Cleveland Bradley County is doing an excellent job in really recycling. Are. I mean, it's just grown exponentially. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing, and uh, my compliments to y'all. Anyway, uh, the Bradley County Road Department, in conjunction with the T. Litter Grant Program, will be giving away items to help residents recycle today. Okay, some items being given away include tote bags for transporting recyclables and tarps to put over recyclables recyclables when transporting them in a truck. Isn't that cool? It is. And uh, the tarps help prevent litter. Yeah, from that, that cool? stuff blowing out yeah. of your pickup truck as you're carrying so, it. So uh, the department will be at the Urbane Road Center from 1 until 3 today and at the Bradley County Landfill from 10 a.m. until noon. So y'all just truck on down there and, and get your, your freebies. That's exactly Isn't right. Isn't that cool? And realize that you're helping recycle. Yes. When you do that. Yes. Um, save a plastic tree. Absolutely <laughs> save that tree. Okay, basketball uh, 2012 and 13 season, Waterville Baptist Church on Dalton Pike. And that's a new church, folks. A beautiful new facility out there. Uh, registration is, um, it, it started and now we're still going uh, today from 6 to 8. Friday from 6 to 8, and Saturday from 10 until 2, and evaluations will be done the day of the sign-up, and they're going to put you in groups of uh, ability, and that's what you need to do anyway. You do not need to be thrown out there with somebody that's twice your size and four times as good, so we're going to, yes. we're going to put you in groups, and so, and if you have any questions, you can contact Sammy Paris at 472-5582, and, or you can go to um, Upward dot org parents that's a backslash upward dot org backslash parents or they have facebook dot com upward sports so this hmm. is a really good activity folks for the winter time so yes so if you're interested go do that okay and fola that's friends of the library association will be hosting its monthly book and coffee series november the 16th is that today 15th uh that's uh Friday. Friday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I just can't keep up with the date anymore. I, well, you're you, retired, so you're not well, supposed to do that. And thank goodness my watch has a little thing on exactly. it so I can do that. You know, uh -huh. that's one of the tests they give for, like, Alzheimer's and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to digress a little bit. My mother had Alzheimer's, and, and she went to the doctor, and they had given her some of the Aricept. And the doctor said, well, is it helping? And she said, how would I know how I'd be without it? <laughs> There you go. Okay. So, so, yeah, you know, it's just real hard. What is today? Okay. Anyway, it's going to be Friday at 10 a.m. at the uh, Craig Miles Johnston History Branch. That's the old library. Right. And they will be reviewing Darkness Yielding Liturgies, Prayers, and Reflections for Advent, Christmas, Holy Week, and Easter. Wow. By Jim Cotter, Martin Percy, and Sylvia Sands, W.H. Vanstone, and Rowan Williams. That's a whole lot of people that had input in that. Yeah, okay. And uh, Reverend Joel Huffstetler from St. Luke's will be doing the review. That's so very good. So he's a guest reviewer. And the library will be closed on Thanksgiving Day and uh, the day after for Thanksgiving. And then for more information, get your pencil out for services, and they just have a plethora of activities. Yes, they do. And it's www.clevelandlibrary.org. They're yeah, an org. We're big on orgs. We're big know, on orgs. Big yes. on orgs. 
Uh, now, Mr. Alexander Delk wrote a book, Memories of Yesteryear, and in the banner there were the articles, articles and yes. they were wonderful. Oh, so he's, yes. he's put them together in a book, and uh, he had a book signing yesterday, and he'll have another book signing today at Cleveland State, and um, then, uh, let's see, the Thursday signing is from 1 to 3, and then the library will have his book uh, and an event on November the 17th, and uh, that will be from Saturday. noon until 3. That's Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the books are $18, and um, you can actually get them on Amazon.com, but you can also buy them locally, folks. So yes. let's buy locally first buy if we local. can. And uh, Memories of Yesteryear, and that's by Alexander Delk, and they were... The stories in the banner were really, really good, so he's put them together in a book. And it's so. local. It's yeah. like things that happened, how life was in Cleveland, Bradley County. Between not, yeah, World War I and, and World, World War II. II. Yeah, and, and yeah, they were fascinating. Absolutely. You know? So so go out and support Mr. Delk. And yes. Another great stocking stuffer for Christmas, folks. Yes. Just buy that book. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, don't have anything else. Oh, you don't? Here, well, I'll all take right. this one. Okay. Okay. Now, um, there will be a library tour. Uh, today at 445 you meet in the lobby and you see the behind the scenes places of the Cleveland Bradley Public Library. And folks, that would be fascinating mm -hmm. because there's all kinds of things back there that, yes. that you would really, really enjoy seeing and that's at 445 today at the library and then tonight at 7, uh, Lemon Drop Kid will be shown at the Cleveland Bradley Community Room and they're going to serve popcorn. Cool. So that's at 7 o'clock tonight and so you really probably want to do that too. Now the uh, Art Center in Athens is going to have a three-day holiday trunk show. Um, it starts today and uh, there's a preview party from 6 to 8 and it ends on the 17th. Admission is five dollars and uh, the money goes to the Athens Food Bank, and we know there are people in Athens that get this station and watch yes. us. Um, the, I cannot remember. I wish I could. Yesterday I got an email from them about auditions for their next show that's coming up, I and it's going to be it. one that's going to have Cecil B. DeMille's would be proud. It's going to be a cast of thousands. Oh, wow. And I can't remember, but if, if any of you are interested in acting, uh, give them a call up there, uh, 423-475. Seven four five. I'm sorry. Four two three seven four five eight seven eight one. And then the Jingle Bell Jog that the Just, Salvation Army that does, five k and a one mile will be held on December first at Tinsley Park, ten a.m. Registration at nine, and um, it's uh, twenty dollars to enter if you enter before or twenty five the day of the race. Uh, family fee of forty and. Uh, uh, you get a t-shirt and and this goes for this is go, the proceeds yes. go for Salvation Army folks so yes. so I you know and Salvation Army enough. people don't get huge salaries no they do so not the and so 99% so, of their fundraising goes to projects absolutely and so here's another Athens art thing that's going on Jazzy Little Christmas 7 Ooh. and that will be at the Art Center in Athens on the 30th of November and the 1st of December in the Sue E. Trotter Theater. I love this. I, I knew Sue Trotter. Sue Trotter, her husband, Dr. Trotter, was one of our family doctors when I was living in Athens. The wonderful thing about this theater in Athens, and the sad thing about the theater we don't have in Cleveland, is that they took the old Harrods supermarket, they bought it, yeah. and they made it into a black box theater, and they have art exhibits, yeah. and they have all these wonderful things and I don't know why we can't seem to do that in Cleveland, Bradley County. We have facilities. We have yeah. the Con Center, the Dixon Center. We have the new facility at Bradley High School. Yeah. We need our own little theater yes. for our theater groups. Yes. And so Jazzy Little Christmas will be the uh, November 30th and December the 1st. And on those same days, Go ahead. we have reverse caroling. I think these dates are right. Now Sharon Moore may call me this afternoon. On November the 30th, we have the tree lighting downtown mm -hmm. at the post office, and we do reverse caroling. And the way you do reverse caroling is the carolers don't move. You move. You move to the carolers, and it starts at uh, Broad Street, 
Yes. And we'll have a group out there caroling. And you go all around town. Yep. And I think we're going to have carriage rides. I think so. And all kinds of things. But yeah. Santa will be there to light the tree. Yeah. And it's that big, huge tree, tree. next to the old post office. Yes. And then on December 1st, we have the Christmas parade. Mm -hmm. And it's a lighted parade, so it starts at 6 o'clock and yes. it's downtown. It'll and we'll be talk gorgeous. more about that next week. Yes. And uh, Cleveland Utilities has a program called Neighbors Helping Neighbors. And you can... Um, uh, what community join together and through this project you can add a dollar to your you contact them and say I want to add a dollar or two dollars five dollars whatever to your monthly bill and they do it automatically and then it goes to help those less fortunate to pay their utility bills so that would be you can contact them at 472-4521 and and we had and I have United Way yesterday yes. and United Way, Cleveland Utilities signed on with United Way. They're going to round up, like if your bill is, oh, really? is uh, $75.92 or something, they're going to round you up to $76, and that $0.08, cents, you know, we'll you go put that in a great big oh, pile, wow. and that's going to go also for this. So okay. uh, so that's that's great. Oh, wonderful. I have something I want to say, y'all. This Someone told Nancy that they, did, they didn't like hearing about what happened to the dogs when it wasn't happy, but folks, that's life. And you know, I'm gonna cry. Well, don't. Well, I'm going to because Earl was oh, killed no. this morning. Oh no. He and three other pit bulls. And y'all know how I feel about pit bulls. And um, Otis was adopted. But uh, folks, spay and neuter your, pants, your pets. Earl was old, he was smelly, he was dirty. Uh, he was, he was, but he, he was know, lovable. He, he just wanted to be loved. That's he right. was scarred, he had had a rough mm -hmm. life, and you know, and he died alone. And that just breaks my heart. And we have no dogs today for you <laughs> no. because, you know, until Earl, we were batting pretty good. Okay? We were, we were. But, but we have no dogs today. No. And Brene and I are going to take next Thursday off because yes. it's Thanksgiving. Yes, and, and I'm going to be so, in California. <laughs> and so I, there will be a show on. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure what, what it is, but we're going to take the day off and enjoy it with our family. So, folks, this has been a fun day with Santa and uh, ended on a sad note. But, you know, we'll be back, and, and we hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Yes, we do. And we'll see you. And be Thank good you. to your pets. And yes, stay absolutely. And stay and neuter your animals. <laughs> See you folks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't.